So I just spent spring break in Puerto Rico and the footage that y'all just seen was actually shot there. Now I know a lot of you guys have cell phones and a lot of people I know have recently started creating YouTube channels. However, one of the biggest questions that people want to know is can you shoot YouTube videos or videos in general with just a cell phone? And the answer is yeah. If you're looking for a cinematic kind of feel, you kind of have to know what settings to play with to get the most out of your smartphone camera. So this is what I'll be talking about right now in this video. Every shot that you guys seen in the B-roll was shot on the Galaxy Note 8. It has a great camera. This isn't the exception though, because any modern day flagship smartphone that you get is going to have a great camera. It all depends on what frame rate that it shoots in. Well, that's long for FPS. Now basically a recording is a montage of images that creates motion and sequences, i.e. what we call video. And every camera is going to shoot at a different FPS or frames per second. That means the speed at which your camera captures images in a certain time period. So you want to shoot in high frame rates because it captures more images. Now the reason you want to shoot in high frame rates is because as you shoot in a higher frame rate, the video is a lot more smoother. It's going to be a lot more smoother rather than jerky because videos that shoot in lower frame rates have more jerky images because there are less images to compensate for the motion i.e. the opposite you have more images therefore it's going to be more motion it's going to flow it's going to be very fluent now the reason you want to shoot again high in that frame rate is because when, once you slow it down in post-production once you edit your videos you want that nice cinematic feel so instead of your slow motion videos looking like this it's going to be smooth like this because it has a lot of images to work with. Another thing that you want to do to capture cinematic video with your smartphone is you want to get close to your subject. Now when you get close to your subject, the foreground, which is what's in front of the image, will stand out. And the background, which is obviously what's in back of the image, will be blurred out. And this, is, this just creates a cinematic feel. That's called bokeh. That's the background blur that the foreground creates by being in front of your camera. So you want to get really close to your subject in order to create that background blur. It's just the effect is nice. People like how, that's, how that looks. Uh, a lot of directors use that in their movies. It's very prevalent in the music industry for, for music videos, in the television industry, movie making industry, all that stuff. Big tip for you guys wanting to become mobile photographers, you know, get into the mobile photography game, is you want to shoot your videos in a lot of light, i.e. in daylight. A lot of the b-roll that you guys seen obviously shot in daylight there's a lot of sunlight i was baking in the sun when you shoot in low light it creates a lot of noise a lot of grain smartphones have small image sensors so therefore if you have less light the quality in the video that you shoot is going to be significantly degraded so you want to shoot in the maximum amount of light that you can shoot in to get the maximum amount of quality out of your video shoot all your videos in landscape not in portrait. If you shoot in portrait, you'll notice that once you move the video file from your laptop and try to edit it, it's gonna have these big ass black bars and you can't do nothing with those black bars. Don't even try to put that out on YouTube. You don't get dislikes, it's not gonna be good. So always shoot your videos in landscape mode, always. And my last tip, transitions. Peter McKinnon is very popular, very popular in the photography world and he has a lot of techniques and he uses his own organic transitions. He actually creates transitions by moving his camera in like crazy amounts of ways. And this is where I picked up the technique from. When you create your own organic transitions that you'll see in the video, I'm gonna bring them up right now, actually. Let me stop talking. I'm gonna bring those transitions right now. Boom. The transitions just make the video look dynamic. Now to achieve this, it's not that hard. Basically, you want to record whatever you're recording. As soon as you come, as soon as you get to the end of your video, you want to swoosh the camera. You want to stop the recording. Then you want to record again. And when you find the subject that you want, you want to swoosh the camera again. And then when you get into the editing software, you kind of want to merge the endings. You want to merge the two so it looks like you're transitioning from one area to another and it's great it's a, it's a great trick very great trick but mobile photography is not very hard to get into 
again you just need to know the technical stuff like the frames per second and the quality that you're shooting in i can't believe i didn't say this in the beginning of the video so this entire video the entire b-roll was shot in 1080p at 60 frames per second now the, the new iphone x samsung galaxy s9 i'm not sure about the pixel 2 and pixel 2 xl but i know for sure those two shoot 4k at 60 frames per second however the issue is it doesn't have stabilization so a lot of the images a lot of the video will be jerky so my tip is to shoot in 1080p and shoot at 60 frames per second where you'll still have image stabilization because you don't want jerky footage it's gonna look weird but if this video helped you you know give me a like and if you're new to my channel i know you're probably confused like yo this guy has fitness tech videos barbering videos and i'm assuming upload fashion like what is going on those are the four things that my channel will be comprised of so if you like those four things ask that you stay tuned and that you hit that subscribe button but if you want to stay updated on me follow me on twitter and instagram that's at ddames underscore three on both very active so if i do take another hiatus i upload content on that daily you should definitely check it out deuce